know what's funny? Well, not funny funny, but like sad funny. There's lots of times when people go to sell their house, they spend like thousands, tens of thousands, some even more, to make their house like all oh, gorgeous, beautiful, totally sellable. But you know what? Not every home in a hot market is a hot home. And that includes even the super sexy real estate eye candy houses. Just because you drop tens of thousands of dollars on your house, there's no guarantee that your house is going to be a hot home. Lots of times people forget that there is more than just fixing up your home in order to get top price. Because it's easy to get super preoccupied with making your house look fabulous because you know it is kind of fun. But if hardly anyone knows about it because the marketing wasn't solid on it, then you may not get enough offers to get you where you want and need it to be price-wise. So why are you going to shoot yourself in the foot right after you just spent tens of thousands of dollars to fix your house up? If you're gonna spend that much money to fix your house up, then you should take it over the finish line and hire someone like me who does digital marketing, someone that's gonna expose your home to tens of thousands of people someone that is trained in digital marketing, which by the way, is not a normal part of real estate. I mean, isn't the reason that you're spending that much money to fix up your house in the first place because you wanna get top dollar? This is just like Cinderella getting decked out to go to the ball, spending thousands on the dress, the hair, the shoes, the jewelry, and then her fancy fairy godmother telling her, you know what? Um, be at the free shuttle stop at 8.13 p.m. so that you can take yourself to the ball, okay? But you know what? After you met that prince, princess, or other non-binary royalty, give me a call, okay? And I'll come pick you up after you met them. This is going to piss a lot of people off. I know it. But realtors aren't trained to market a house. So it's where most agents struggle. More than 99% of the time, you get a sign, you get your house on the MLS, and then... People rely on big box real estate like Zillow and Redfin to do a little something, something for them. That's not marketing. Big box real estate does the bare minimum because you know what? They don't care about selling your house, but what they do care about is collecting your contact information so that they can turn it around and sell it. Your contact information is worth thousands of dollars to them. You look amazing, but don't miss the shuttle, okay? And call me after you hook up with the royalty.